My name is Mark Wolf. I'm the Morton Amsterdam Dean of uh, the School of Dental Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. I concentrate heavily on um, delivery of care to persons with disability, uh, to people that have limited access to dental care. I've evolved to understanding much more about lots of the social and, and physical determinants that that drive our health and, and you can't be healthy without oral health. We as dentists have to look how to accommodate the person that has the disability. Put yourself in their position, think about what accommodations we can make available and you know, it changes the world for them. Alzheimer's patient, they can't sit in the chair for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour and get their teeth cleaned. Well, let's see them for 10, five minute visits. Let's, let's work with them to, to, to be able to, to manage their oral health and keep them comfortable and happy as, as they age. Um, our image of, of the perfect white smile doesn't have to be achieved in, in every one of our patients. It's more important that we provide them the care that will keep them healthy and able to eat and, and communicate and, and put a smile on their face. I've had patients that are in geriatric settings that no longer allow people to brush their teeth because they're difficult. Well, if I take away the sugar sources that feed the bacteria that cause carries, we can manage that. This is a total change in the way we think about managing the disease. The management of carious lesions has evolved. I ask the simple question, a patient comes into the office and has a new active carries lesion that you're restoring. If we restore that, have we actually treated the disease of tooth decay or have we actually just fixed the ravages of the disease? But until we start addressing what caused the disease and how we can prevent it, we haven't treated the disease. We may be able to arrest caries earlier, maintain the tooth without violating the area of the pulp, restore it with bonded restorations that don't require the same types of preparations that GV Black defined in in 1895, we need to we need to realize that you know, in 1895, life expectancy was in the 50s. Um, today, we look at needing to restore and maintain teeth through the 90s. From the tooth standpoint, this is a great time to be a tooth. The 2021 World Dental Congress has the ability to reach more people and more dentists than any meeting that's ever existed before. And this Congress will bring together some of the world's leaders in, in oral health, in, in intellectual health, in, in, in thought. This is an opportunity for you to get world-class continuing education. There has never been an opportunity like this before.